26. What was 326? 326. Can you believe it, Peanut? 326! What was 326? Oh my god. And, and everybody will look at that number and go, oh my gosh, you are a heart attack waiting to happen. 326. That's just. What, it's, it's crazy. What was 326? 326. It was just on. Believable, unbelievable that 326 is what it came in as. So, what came in as 326? Welcome back to Living La Vida Low Carb on YouTube, and we're up to episode 69. My name is Jimmy 326 Moore. <laughs> I'm Christine Moore. And this is Peanut. A bunch of my friends are on <laughs> Yes, we like Jeff uh, Jeff Dunham is a ventriloquist, and she wanted to put Peanut. I bought her a peanut doll, isn't that cute? But anyway, we're not here to talk about peanut today. We're here to talk about 326. And you might be wondering, like Christine, what is 326, Jimmy? Stop with the suspense. Well, 326 was my, get this, total cholesterol when I last had it checked. And you might be thinking, well, wait a minute. All I've ever heard from all those Crestor and Lipitor commercials is to make sure you get your cholesterol lower. And you talk to your doctor and they say, get it below 200 or you're in the danger zone, whatever the heck that is supposed to mean. But the fact of the matter is, those Crestor and Lipitor and other statin drug commercials aren't telling the truth, are they? That's good, that's good, that's good. No, actually, it's not very good. <laughs> Actually, they're lying to people when they say that you need to lower your cholesterol because not all your cholesterol needs to be lower. Mm -mm. What, what's, what kind is supposed to be higher? Your HDL. Your HDL, good cholesterol. And, and even your LDL doesn't necessarily have to be bad. A lot of people think, oh, it's LDL. It's like saturated fat. They think, oh, all saturated fat is bad. But no, the same goes for LDL. Not all LDL is bad. And let me explain. There are two tests that are out there that will measure the particle size of the LDL. Now you might be going, particle what? Yeah, a lot of people, all they look at is the total cholesterol and the LDL cholesterol. And one of my, my good friends, Dr. James Carlson, wrote a great book called Genocide, How Your Doctor's Dietary Advice and Ignorance Will Kill You. But um, he said one time that having your total cholesterol is like having the cumulative score of the end of a baseball game. So, 25. But how do you know who won? How do you know what the final score was? It 13 to 12? Was it 24 to 1? Wow. You don't Amen. know. Yeah, I know. I went to public school. And so you don't know. So what you need is a breakdown of the subsets. That's where the particle size comes into play. Now, one of the tests is called a VAP test. You can go to atherotech.com. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Uh, and it's a pretty good test. I personally enjoy the NMR lipo profile uh, test and it's the one I had done. You can go to nmrlipoprofile.com and you will get a, a little printout sheet like this and it will have all of your uh, printout. And the thing that I really like about this is it shows your particle number and the particle size. And what you're looking for on this test is the large fluffy kind because those are the kind that cannot penetrate the arterial wall and the other thing is, it will show you how many of the small, dense particles that you have which can and will go behind the arterial wall and will cause the inflammation, and that's what leads to heart attacks. You had like 
30? Yeah. Of 1,453 total LDL particles, I had 30, which is less than 1% <laughs> of them, were the, the small, uh, dense LDL and dangerous LDL particle size. Most of my particle size were the large, fluffy kind that are protective, quite frankly, against a, a, a heart attack or any kind of heart uh, uh, situation. And that's what you want. And so it doesn't matter that my LDL, total LDL, was 250. That will shock, and did shock, my typical doctor. Mm -hmm. 250. Should have seen his expression. You need to go on a statin drug. And I'm like, no, I don't. I'm sorry. I'm not going on an, uh, a statin drug because a lot of the people, they believe that if you just get your LDL down and get your total cholesterol below 200, the heck with HDL, the heck with triglycerides, neither one of those things ever hardly come up. Yeah, they may mention LDL or HDL in the, the, uh, statin drug commercials, but it's only like, well, it'll increase it by eight point. Ooh. Ooh. You know, but they don't ever mention triglycerides in these commercials. It drives me nuts every time I see these commercials. You know, go lower. I'm like, well, maybe you don't want to go lower. Maybe you want that higher HDL. My HDL was 65. My triglycerides were 86. Now, if your HDL is over 50, and your triglycerides are under 100. That shows that you're eating a good low-carb diet, a good high-fat, moderate-protein, low-carb diet that will keep you healthy. And a lot of people, they think, well, eh, I'm still so worried. And I'm like, what are you worried about? A lot of the latest research, Christine, is showing that it's not about the LDL. It's not about the total cholesterol anymore. In fact, if you look at that HDL to triglyceride ratio, that is the thing that you want to try to get as close to uh, uh, two to one as possible. If we could just get people to go to four to one of that, it would be incredible. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, people habitually have too low HDL and their triglycerides are crazy. And we've done a video before about how your triglycerides were pushing 300. And we got those down to 132. So in six weeks, just from changing your diet and just from uh, adding fish oil to your supplements. And so, what I wanted to leave people with today is get this test done, the NMR lipo profile test. If you go to your doctor, he may go, huh? But he should be able to figure it out. It actually is located in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's Lipo Science Incorporated. Again, uh, go to that website. It's uh, nmrlipoprofile.com, right there. And we will make sure uh, that we provide that for you So that uh, in the show notes over there. It's not over there, it's over there. Um, so that you can check it out because it is too important for you to just go around assuming that, well, if you keep your LDL down, you keep your total cholesterol down, that you're going to be healthy. I mean, look at what happened to Tim Russert last year. Look at, uh, you know, people that, you know, they seem to be healthy and all of a sudden they have a heart attack. And they had low cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because it's not about the cholesterol. It's about the inflammation. It's about the, what those carbohydrates and all that sugar inside your body is doing. It is the real culprit in heart disease. Not cholesterol, not saturated fat, not dietary cholesterol, not saturated fat, and definitely not the cholesterol that's in your body. It is all about the carbohydrates and the sugar that is inflaming, literally inflaming your body. So, Well, that's all the time we have for Living La Vida Low Carb on YouTube, episode 69. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for being with us today, Peanut. Man, you're quick. Yes, it's like, you know. <laughs> yes. Go find Jeff Dunham on YouTube. You'll find all kinds of great videos. Well, anything else you want to say? No, you covered it. Word. What word? Word. See ya! Bye.